Talk to me for a moment about the seven chakras and how are they connected with the art of mandala? Wow, yeah, seven chakras is something I love. I mean, I I didn't know anything about a few years back. I mean, I heard, I said, what is this? And then learning about energy and this point of energy that actually the chakra has and um, reflect on different parts of our bodies. But in the mandala, um, what I learned is that and as, uh, I'm not going to go into detail of explaining all the chakras, but we know that each chakra has a different color, and they're the same that relate, they actually relate to the rainbow as well, but related to a certain um, meaning, in a sense, for each chakra. Then it depends, it starts from the bottom, from the root chakra up to the top. And the, the, when I did the mandala, I did all of them, the root, uh, started from the, the root, the, um, the sacral and the solar plexus, and then the head chakra, the throat chakra, and the, you know the crown and the third eye, and the crown chakra. So, and the color, the reflection there, really helped to kind of uh, create a balance. Uh, basically, for the chakras, it's important to have a balance. It so it's not just spiritual; it's physical. So, if a chakra is not balanced, you actually you might not feel physically well uh, because they relate to a certain part of the body and certain also internal um, organs as well, different things. So it's just about learning to trust, just about see your body as a temple. So to feel well inside, you need to, uh, inside, you need to feel well outside. You know, we need to take care of what we, you know, uh, our body as well. Uh, it's nothing different than, um, sometimes we say we are very spiritual, so I don't care about the body. It's not right. It's not about that. It's about being gentle w- uh, with both and take care of both to actually work on the chakra and even help others by help myself, I discovered an amazing, uh, powerful tool which is related to, and it actually resonates with Mandela a lot, which is called Chakra Dance. It's all about balancing the chakras. And in fact, for example, if you do a, a Chakra Dance course, it's seven weeks because each week is for each chakra. You don't do, you could do the chakra together in a dance, but if you want to do it like it to learn what it's about, you do each chakra, you do um, a dance. And the same you could do with the mandala. So my idea is to create a mandala for each chakra at the end of the dance. So it's kind of like um, a, a, a shamanic art kind of things, because the, the way you dance in a chakra, first of all, which is new, not new, but it's not typical a dance, you dance with your eyes closed. Mm-hmm. Right. Even if I had my eyes closed, because I was connecting more with the chakra and the type of music, which is, of course, as a tool as well, like, like it can be a mandala or the music, which is specific music done for a certain reason, it brings you to a certain way that you can find your balance in, in that while you move. Because actually it takes you on a journey. So you're not there anymore in that room. You, Everyone else, you actually can be in a forest. It, it takes you. It's actually, chakra dance you can see as a meditation journey. 